Folks, David here on The Vintage Future once again. And today, what I wanna do is talk to you about how to choose the best denim jacket for you, also known as why I chose the Type 2. So let me just clarify some terms and give you the lay of the land as far as like which denim jackets exist out there. I'll mention all the main ones, but there's obviously gonna be some that I don't mention that are a little more obscure. Um, and then after I give you, give you the, the overview on what is out there in the categories that we're working with, then I'll talk to you about why I ended up cho choosing this one right here um, and ones like it, okay? So the first thing you need to know is there are jackets other than Levi inspired jackets, but like 90 or 95 or 99, I don't know what the percentage is, but some high percentage of jackets, most of the jackets denim jackets in the world are based on Levi's original historical jackets. And there's three of them. There's the Levi Type 1, the Levi Type 2, and the Levi Type 3. There's also the triple pleated blouse, which is from the 1800s, but for most people that doesn't even exist, right? Because most people aren't wearing those or even aware of that, much less buying jackets inspired by that design. So for our intents and purposes today, that's a cool jacket. You could check it out if you want, but we're not really gonna talk about that. That's really kind of obscure. So most jackets are based off the Levi Type 1, 2, and 3. We'll go into more detail about those in just a minute. But that aside, there are other companies. So Wrangler has been around for a really long time, and they also have some similar jackets. Obviously, they're gonna be a little more Western and cowboy looking. And then Lee, another long-standing American brand, they also have a lot of famous jackets, like the Lee Storm Rider. And theirs, too, is often gonna be pegged as more of a cowboy Western brand. You know, So if you're not into that Western aesthetic, you're probably gonna be turning away from those brands from the very beginning. Those are the other kinds of jackets. And then there's modern jackets that kind of in, inspire themselves with those. So uh, very similar to Wrangler is Mr. Freedom. It's a Californian company. They're vintage inspired, so they, they don't always reproduce an actual vintage garment, but they'll take ideas from vintage garments and kind of come up with their own new designs. Almost with this like imaginary take, like what if they made this design back in the 1930s? You know, that kind of thing. So they've got what they call the ranch blouse, which if you look at it, it's like, and a lot of their blue jeans, um, very obviously they're being inspired by Wrangler. Uh, but yeah, so Lee, Wrangler, there's some other brands. Uh, most of the jean jackets look kind of like that. And then there's also what's called like a chore coat or even like a railman's coat or a car coat. Um, these kinds of jackets are they're gonna fit longer. They're gonna go past your waist area, down into your thigh area, almost like a, a suit coat or a sport coat would be. They're gonna have a lot of pockets. They're gonna be very functional. It's the kind of thing you can imagine like a train conductor wearing or just a construction worker from the 1930s or 1940s or something. And it's, yeah, it's got all these pockets and stuff. You know, some craftsman working in a workshop somewhere maybe. Yeah, and he's got like his like tape measure and his screwdrivers and his pens and pencils and all that, that you know, sticking out of the pockets everywhere. Um, it's that sort of thing, something you would wear around a, a workbench. That's another type of denim jacket, and there's plenty of brands that, that make those kinds of things. Um, and then with any jacket I'm mentioning right now, there's obviously going to be modern versions of it among heritage brands, Amakaji brands, and also among mall brands. So. Um, we're right now just talking about the original designs that everyone's inspired from. But of course, in the modern day, you end up with all kinds of modern companies borrowing those ideas and then doing a completely new thing with them, okay? So that's the denim jacket world. That's, that's all the main categories. But as I said, like 90% of this stuff, if not more, is based on Levi's. So now we're gonna hone in more on the three types of Levi jackets other than the triple pleated blouse. You got the triple pleated blouse in the 1800s. Can't remember what year, I think 1880. They make the triple pleated blouse. It's what we would think of as a jacket, but back then they thought of it as more of like a shirt, uh, like a loose fitting shirt. So triple pleated blouse. In 1905, 
they come out with what we call the Type 1 or the 506 Double X. Um, Double X, just like the Levi 501 jeans, 501 Double X. Double X is just a way of saying that the material, the denim fabric, is super durable and hardcore and uh, heavy duty. Okay, it's it's a really tough denim material versus like a lighter weight fabric that was maybe not as durable. Um, so that's how they would communicate communicate that in those days. So 501 double X, that's the jeans that we're all so familiar with. Then in 1905, it's the 506 double X. Now, at the time, it was actually still called a blouse. It wasn't really called a jacket at that time, but that's what we call the type one. That's a Levi's type one denim jacket. All right. So then you get through World War II, and the year is 1953, and they come out with a Type 2. That's what I'm wearing right now. This is not a Levi, but this is a reproduction from a company called TCB. Uh, but Levi's comes out with a Type 2, the 507 double X. And it's kind of similar to the Type 1, but it's got a few additions. So the Type 1 has pleats on the front, just like this jacket. Pleats that go down the front. It's like an expansion gusset, basically. And it has one pocket. Not two, one pocket. Sometimes that pocket has a flap. Sometimes it does not have a flap. Sometimes it's just a patch pocket. And then on the back, you have a cinch or a buckle to tighten the torso of the jacket to, to fit you better. And then... You got button cuffs, just like you would expect, rivets and stuff all over the place. Um, and yeah, that's the Type 1 denim jacket. You get to 1953, and the Type 2 now has two pockets, one on each side of the chest, and both of the pockets have a flap. And then instead of having this cinch back, this buckle back on the back, now you have side adjusters on the waistband rear left and right um, and each has two buttons okay um, and they slimmed it up a little bit they lengthened the jacket a little bit and made it less boxy so the type one is really roomy it's cropped like at, at right at about where your belt goes at your waist uh, yeah boxy roomy this uh, type two is starting to look more like what we think of as a denim jacket it's slimmed out, a little bit more rectangular, not so boxy, a little bit longer length. Uh, mine's a little too long. Uh, it's not technically accurate as far as historical specs go, but, but still, it's longer than Type 1. Yeah, uh, adjuster buckles, all that stuff. So that's the Type 2. It doesn't last very long. It only runs from 1953 until 1962, as far as we can tell. And then the end production of the Type 2, and they replace it, with what's called the 557 double X, what we call the type three denim jacket or what now iconically, colloquially in our culture is universally called the trucker jacket. That's what everybody thinks of as a denim jacket. You say denim jacket, people don't think type one, they don't think type two, they don't think Wrangler, they don't think Lee, they don't think Good Luck brand, they don't think any other brand you've ever heard of with a denim jacket. Everybody and their brother and their mother, everybody thinks of the type three Levi denim jacket. It's, it's something that started in 1962, and it's been continuously manufactured ever since then. In the modern day, now Levi and other companies have gone back and start, started to make recreations or reproductions of the Type 1 and the Type, type 2. Uh, but technically, they ended at a, at a given point. You know, In 1953, the Type 1 ended, and in 1962, the Type 2 ended, and they were replaced, you know, seemingly forever by the type three so the type three has two small flat pockets on the chest and there's no front pleat anymore uh, you still have the side adjuster buckles or or straps really is what they are in the back you got the button cuffs and everything um, and what you have now though is a slightly similar silhouette and it's it looks even slimmer than it actually is because what they did is they played the, this trick on your eyes they put these two V stitches down the front on either side of the jacket and that causes your eyes to, to think the jacket is like 
turning in. It's like slimming toward the waist, which it is a little bit, but it makes it look like it's doing that in this really extreme way. Um, and it's really high fitting and stuff. So this is your your classic, um, yeah, kind of like slim fitting modern denim jacket, and that's what everybody wears. Okay, so when you're looking for a denim jacket. You're choosing between all these things, the, the three Levi's jackets and anything inspired by them and all these other ones. Most of us are just going to hone in on Levi's, right? If you're into the Western stuff, go with Lee, go with Wrangler, the actual brands, or you can find reproductions of them. Uh, TCB does a reproduction of some Lee stuff and Warehouse does as well. So there's some cool reproductions out there. Otherwise, just go to Lee directly or Wrangler directly. Um, sometimes you can find their used stuff on like eBay or Grail or whatever. Uh, but most of us are not going to want that Western kind of stuff. Most of us are going to go Levi. So if you're going Levi, you know, why would you choose the Type 1 or the Type 2 or the Type 3? And that is where we're going to spend the rest of our time today. I want to talk to you about why did I choose the Type 2 in the end. The Type 2 ends up being the perfect balance between a type one and a type three. It's got like all the elements of the type one and the type three that I like combined. That's the short answer of why I chose the type two. Okay, so the first thing that pushed me toward the type one and the type two, I, I also have a type one, I don't just have this type two. Um, I love having both of them. My type one is fantastic. I love type one jackets. I love type two jackets. I do not love type three jackets. If I had to only choose one, it would be the type two. Um, if I had to have three jackets, I would have a type one and a type two, and then a second type one or type two, but I would not have a type one, two, or, and three, because I just don't care for the three. I had a unbranded brand type three at one point, and it was cool. I don't like hate these jackets. I don't hate you if you wear them or anything like that. I don't think they look horrible. But I don't like that they are the standard jacket. I like to set myself apart a little bit. Um, I also don't like the slim silhouette or the slim fit. Uh, I, I like that kind of old school boxy construction worker-ish, primitive looking, um, yeah, uh, more square lines, um, square angles and stuff, type one and type two. Um, the fact that fashion has gone in the direction of the type three and that's what everybody's wearing, uh, especially right now here in 2023, they've made a comeback. And so like, especially women, like all the women are wearing denim jackets. Everybody's wearing a type three. Everyone's wearing a trucker jacket. It's so tr it's so hip right now. So trendy. So, uh, man, it's a fad. It's, 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 it's cliche, right? Like it doesn't mean it's bad. It's iconic. It's classic. You, you will never get rid of the type three denim jacket, but it's just too much for me. So I went away from that. Um, so that's one big reason I went away from type three. Um, also though, the type three has these tiny little pockets. They're basically useless. Like there's, there's like hardly anything you can put in there. Uh, that's not going to fit your phone. It's not going to fit your wallet unless you have a tiny little wallet. Yeah. They're essentially useless. Uh, some of the more modern ones have hand warmer pockets or inside pockets. And you know, that's cool as far as functionality goes. But the original ones or, or accurate reproductions, they don't have any of that. So it's like, it's basically like having a jacket that you can't put anything in ever. Uh, there, it essentially has no pockets because the pockets are just for looks. Um, I don't like that. I also am super in love with the pleats on the Type 1 and the Type 2, personally. And so the fact that there's this V pattern instead of the pleats, um, you know, that is something that really draws me toward the Type 1 and the Type 2 instead of the type three. Um, so you've got the slim type three as far as the look goes and the fit. You've got the big and boxy type one. And right in the middle as far as fit and aesthetic goes is the type two. The type one has one pocket that's big, but there's not a second one. And then you've got two pockets on the type three, but they're really small. And on the type two, what I consider to be basically perfection is you have two pockets and those two pockets have flaps on them so your things aren't falling out all the time if you're like working under your car or running around with your kids at the park or you bend over to get something. Um, and they're big enough to actually put stuff in. So more pockets than the type one, 
a flat pocket, which some type ones have flat pocket, but a lot of them don't. Um, and you can actually use the pockets because they're not pathetically, miserably small like on a type three trucker jacket. So that's cool. Um, it's also got the pleats from the type one, which I love. Um, it's got side adjuster buckles. So, or straps, I keep calling them buckles. Side adjuster straps. And I don't really mind the cinch back thing from the type one. I actually like that a lot, but not everybody does. Not everybody actually enjoys that. So that's cool. It's gonna help you fit in the modern, modern look a little bit better. I like the pleats on it too because they're functional. So with the Type 3, if you button it up all the way, at least with the one that I had and what I see online, guys posting pictures, is like the Type 3, once you button it up all the way, can be a little bit constricting. There's no breathing room. But what you get with the Type 1 and 2 is with the pleats, it not only looks really cool in my opinion, but it's an expansion gusset and so you button your jacket up all the way. And when you like throw your shoulders back or push your chest out or whatever, or you're like reaching for something, they expand and it makes it just so much more comfortable. You have that little extra room for movement and mobility. It's really great. But yeah, so the Type 2 is gonna have a lot of the cool vintage features and the uniqueness of a Type 1, but it's something that translates into modern life really well. And it is the most useful in my opinion, like I said, because of the pocket layout and all that stuff. Now, as I said earlier, you can get modern versions of this. So if you're not going strictly reproduction, you can get any of these jackets with like inside pockets and hand warmers and they'll change the size of the pockets. You can get a type three with larger pockets or a type two with smaller pockets and, and stuff like that. You can probably even find these jackets with zippers. You can find them with blanket lining on the inside with like Sherpa, and all this stuff. And so yeah, um, the stuff I'm telling you is not hard and fast rules, but I like to stick to repro stuff and so that's where I went with it. So yeah, in summary, those are all the types of jackets. Most people will get a Levi's type one, two, or three. And I got the type two because as far as form, as far as fit, and as far as features, it has all of the features I love from the three and the one all in one jacket. So the type one and the type three are a little extreme for me. Type one's a little antiquated. The type three is a little modern. And I think that the type two is perfection. It's like the balance. It's, it's all the stuff you actually wanted in a jacket, not all the stuff you didn't want, like in the type one and in the type three and I've tried on other brands like like uh at Rogue Shop in San Carlos I tried on the, the freewheelers version of the type two and stuff and yeah even in other brands I just really like um it a lot and the the historical nugget the fact that it was only made for like eight or nine years from 1953 to 1962 whereas the others were made for decades and decades and decades um that's just like a really cool compelling historical factoid that like pushes me toward it like oh let's let's get the unique one let's get the one that not as many people wore let's let's get the one that you're not going to see in quite as many old films the, the one that's not quite as quite as well used or overused in Hollywood you know let's let's get the one that not everyone's grandpa has given them like uh, probably a lot of type threes have been handed down to you know younger relatives but type twos not so much uh, type ones obviously not either because it's so old but like You'll see a lot of those in museums, but um, you look in museums, you'll see a lot of type threes, you'll see a lot of type ones, but you're not gonna see a lot of type twos because there just weren't that many made. So when you find a vintage type two, whether it's in a museum or you actually buy one yourself, like on eBay or something or at auction, I mean, I think it's just that much cooler because it's like, dude, you found one of the rarest denim jackets out there. It's so cool, at least as far as Levi stuff goes. Uh, so anyways, that's why I chose the Type 2. Hopefully all that barfing of information helps you choose your own denim jacket. If you have any questions, let me know. I am absolutely not the pro on this. I'm just getting into it, which is why I'm so excited to, to just talk about it and stuff. Uh, and, uh, you know, let your denim jacket take you places. More important than the jacket itself. Have a great day, guys. See you next time.